Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. Tell us your review on Sweet Tea and Guido, the two pack. You can see in the Cotter Pin series. Here you can see Sweet Tea and also Guido. Obviously, she does come with a plastic microphone there. Very dusty. I've had this for quite a while. On the back, you can see the Cotter Pin. You can see Cotter, Cotter Pin Bar and Grill. Probably a, I, mean, I guess I get what they're trying to go for here with that being their logo. I mean, Carter Pin, and then you just have the, uh, you know, the logo of the series in the movie as it was in the movie. But I feel like a shot of some of the cars inside the Carter Pin would have been actually better. Uh, you can see friends of the late great fabulous Hudson Hornet gather at the Carter Pin. Uh, Spanish, Portuguese as well, there maybe French as well. I do believe. There you can see sweet tea and Guido. Uh, kind of looks like a prototype picture of Sweet Tea. If you look at her actual eyes versus there, looks a bit like a prototype image of her. Of this was released in late 2019. See, so our sent Fiat, um, the creditor here. I'm not exactly sure why, because uh, Luigi is not released, but it was made in Thailand. There. Uh, you can see choking hazard because all three things in this set are choking hazards. The pities themselves are considered choking hazards because they're small, and also the microphone is obviously a choking hazard. That's probably more of a choking hazard than these two, but usually when there's a pity in a set, they put a choking hazard logo or sign. And uh, this uh, two pack is kind of a, a scam if you want to put it that way, because usually Guido is never released as a, like a two pack is supposed to be two singles, right? This is a single. Uh, usually Guido is released in a single pack uh, alongside Lu Luigi. Usually it's Guido and Luigi in one pack and they put it as a uh, single. So first of all, Guido isn't a single himself and Sweet Tea is probably smaller than Luigi. So they could have definitely put these two in one single pack and released it as a single. Or, you know, at the very least, they could have included a Luigi because they did that, I believe, uh... They released Uncle Topolino, and they released him, and then they also released Luigi and Guido with him and called it a two-pack because, you know, Luigi and Guido count as a single. So, uh, yeah, they could have done that, could have released these as a single themselves, but they decided not to, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, I guess let's get these guys out of the package, even though it really should be a two-pack, should be a, a single pack, or at least have a Luigi in there. Now, this two-pack came out, and when it originally came out, like, at the very start, it was hard to find... But then after Christmas, it just started peg warming. And um, now I don't really see it, but for a good period from, like, Christmas to, like, March, um, the two-pack case of Sweet Tea, Guido, and also uh, Muscle Burner Break, Maddie McGear, um, Heyday, Ripper Scott, or Heyday, Junior Moon, uh, Eli Turnpike, and uh, what was the other one? The bumper safe tractor and uh, rusty screws. I mean, there's that. Those two packs were everywhere. I think the Eli turn pick one was a little more rare, but you could find plenty of these two packs in my area. So they kind of peg where now I don't really see them as much. But yeah, uh, let's get let's look at Guido first here because he's kind of the normal Guido. We all know him. There's some hair here already. You can see uh, Thailand eyes. He's obviously a Thailand variation. See, kind of like purple eyes almost. Smiling, there's his forks. He is kind of looks like he's coming apart. Right there, look, there's a big crack. Especially if you look here, look at that. It's a huge crack. It's like the, this piece isn't on the uh, body the whole way. Very interesting. But there you can kind of see where the forks are inserted into the body. He's got this light green fender. This light green line that goes all around the bottom. See, so he's blue himself. And then he's got the big dark blue hat there. Obviously, he has a three-wheeler. And, uh, yeah, we all know Guido. So, that was just a quick overview of Guido. Here are Here's the microphone that she comes with. These were the same ones, I believe, were released with, like, Miles Axelrod, Miles Axelrod with microphone. Um... Bob Cutlass and Daryl Karshuk with microphones. So yeah, just a standard generic microphone. They released this one before. And then here is the main attraction of this set, what everyone would buy it for. Here is Sweet T. 
tea. See, she is very happy, probably singing. That's what they were going for her. Here, but yeah, she's very happy. You can see the green eyes. You've got the eyelashes there. Her forks. And I love the color. She's like, on the camera, I think she shows up more as like a peach. In real life, she's like a dark peach, I guess that would make sense. She's a very nice color. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it, but it's a very nice, like dark yellow, almost like yellow hanging on orange, but not really an orange, but not really a yellow, like right in that mix. It's a very, very nice color. And her roof here is like a brownish color. And this thing here, Look at that. The way that's put on, it almost looks like it'll be a moving part, but it's not. Almost like a, like a rug or something on here. I'm not exactly sure. Kind of tied up there. Let's see what it would be tied up right there. It almost kind of looks like a rug. I'm not exactly sure. As you go to the side here, she's got this like red uh, trim going down uh, from the start of her fender to the end. This little line right here, probably the uh, logo, the company. See, it's on both sides. She does have four wheels, so one more than Guido. And her wheels are, if you look at the wheels, definitely bigger than Guido's wheels. It doesn't say made in Thailand or anything. She's got a very clean base. If you look at Guido's base here. See, it says, like, Meta Mattel Disney Pixar made in Thailand in that code. She's only got the code. She doesn't have Mattel Disney Pixar made in Thailand, which is very interesting. So going to the back here, she's got this sign that's or this logo that says love. So something else in front of it. Or no. Yeah, that says love. That says sweet tea right there. That says love. I'm not exactly sure what the uh letter in front of it is. And she's got like this uh, wrench going through it. I think it's supposed to be like the Cupid uh, heart hug or something, and they codified it to make it with a wrench instead of an arrow. She's got the taillights there, the logo, which is very similar to Guido's logo. Oh. See that? Maybe not, but... So, yeah. Then she's got these things, which are uh, kind of textured. I think they're supposed to represent, like, vents or something. And she's got those two gray dots on the back there. And this side, the only difference is that it says sweet T. And it just doesn't spell out T. It just is, it's just the letter T, but it also says sweet but it's very badly, uh, poor, poorly um, printed because it is obviously Thailand graphics. And the wheels, or the rims, I should say, have this nice red outline on them instead of just being, I mean, Guido's rims, they're just black when in reality they should have, you know, a silver hubcap surrounded by blue. They're, they're just black. They've always, even in the Precision series, they've released them with black rims, but here you can see very nice gold like uh, orange with a red outline rims there so very nice i really do like a sweet tea here and let's compare her to some well first of all how about we read the description for her in this uh meet the cars book uh, meet the cars book for cars three that was really see so there's a louise barstormer nash and there she actually she was on the cover the back of the cover i guess there she is And it says, uh, as Louise Nash's former pity, Sweet Tea knows all about fighting hard to prove that women deserve their fair share or fair shake in the racing. I'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to say fair share, not shake. Is it right there? I'm assuming that's supposed to share, say share in the racing world. When Louise retired, she discovered she had a singing voice as smooth as freshly laid asphalt. She now spends her time belting out country classics at the Cotter Pin. See, she's a sugarmatic forklift. There's Louise Nash right above her. Um, and here's actually Louise Nash. You probably saw her in the thumbnail. But here she is compared to two Louise Nash. You can see, like, the shade. There's something that's falling down a little here. Uh, the shade of, like, orange isn't supposed to, isn't the same. But I'm assuming that's because, like, Louise Nash is a little bit faded. But I don't know. I don't know. See, they do look they do look pretty good alongside each other. Also, this Louise Nash is obviously um, made in China. There you can see it says made in China. So, you know, maybe the color difference is weird or something. I don't know, but 
Uh, also, she doesn't have like 94 graphics or anything on the side, but I would, would assume when she was her pity, she did have those graphics. Her, um, probably covered them up, and who knows, maybe she also got a paint job. So she looks a little bit different from Louise Nashler. Let's compare her to, uh, compare her to some other pitties. Here we have like a gear tree here, and also the piston cup, like tall pity. They're very similar. Here they're compared to Sweet Tea, not very similar at all compared to her. I brought in some like cars to compare her to, I don't know. But I brought in like Sal Macchiano here and Tombe. They're all kind of like pitties, but very big pitties. Yeah, they're not really that similar. Uh, here is, well, like Guido's model. This is the uh, Uncle Toplano's band, one of them. All of them are the same model. So here she is compared to Guido. She's kind of similar to Guido. With like the fenders especially, but uh, she's four-wheeled. And Guido is three-wheeled. Here is the Piston Cup Short Pity and the Piston Cup Wide Pity. brought in a few different more pities like rocky or eddie uh, maybe the circus pity but i really decided to stick it to the like keep it to those rocky and eddie is very similar to like, the piston cup pities and the circus pity is basically this without the forks and here's the one i kind of think looks the most similar to sweetie she, obvi she obviously is a unique model but alex macchiano also adam parke the uh carlo Rosso pity here they're very similar i had, uh, i don't have that one unboxed yet but um, probably will do a review on it in the future. They are very similar to Sweet Tea, both four wheeled, and they both just kind of look very, kind of look similar. Obviously, not the same. He's a little more tall, taller, whereas she's a little bit more wider. It looks like if you look at it from the front, and then if you look towards the back, he doesn't like hers is more swooped out, whereas his isn't. I guess if you, she's kind of longer. Let's put it that way. So. But in the middle, they kind of have, like, fenders poking out on the front tire and in the back. So, yeah. I think they're the most similar, but... She is a unique model. And, but, yeah. Now let's give her a ride on the turntable, actually. And I'll put up a picture of her. She appeared in the movie. Let's put a picture right there. Uh, she did appear in a couple of scenes, I do believe. So, uh, yeah, that should do it for my review on Sweet Tea and Guido. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So obviously, more of a review on Sweet Tea than Guido because we've all seen Guido before, but Sweet Tea is the new character in this set. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, all that. Well, actually, you can't comment. Uh, yeah, that the YouTube rules, I don't know how to comment. Uh, but yeah, like, com uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, share this video, subscribe, uh, like the video and all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. I'm not sure what it will be, but I will see you there. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.